I'm just gonna go through all the carabiners and connectors that I've got. This is just my opinion. Um, I'm just gonna go through the different types and why I use them um, and how they can benefit different scenarios. Um, so I've kind of split them up into different groups. Um, first kind of group I'll go through um, are the sort of standard climbing carabiners. You can get these in like all different sizes. These are just your sort of general kind of oval shape. This is the ISC one. Um, this is a DMM one. Uh, most of the ones I've got are DMM to be fair. So I tend to stick with this shape. Um, I just like the the fact that it's it's even on either side. Um, you can get ones that are more sort of that shape, which can be quite handy uh, if you're using it on like the end of your climbing line. So you can like keep that that end on your climbing line and then it just gives you more space to clip stuff on here especially if you've got a splice die it kind of keeps it down down there so these are all the um three-way lock-in or um i think they're three action two lock-in so it's sort of like up across back to open and it locks twice as far as i know um, I just call them three-way lock and I think most people in the UK call them the same as well. If I'm going to buy a carabiner, um, I will buy them pretty much this shape. Um, just because I think they're just like good all-rounders. On my on my climbing, climbing systems, I have these Perfect O's, which are the small versions. So they're just a little bit smaller than the normal carabiner. Rating, I think, is pretty similar. So... 24 kilonewtons, 25, so still just as strong, but just a little bit smaller. I think they're about the same price, to be fair. The only thing I didn't like about these is if you, I put I put one of these on the end of my sideline, um, or my flip line, um, and because they're so small, it's actually quite hard to kind of try and undo it like one hand. Um, it's the bigger ones, you've kind of got more it's just, yeah, it's just easier. You can, I don't know, it's, you've just got more to kind of grab. So they're the sort of ovals. You've got your small Perfecto and, and, and then just your normal one. Um, those two are DMM, that's ISC. Uh, this is one I've just bought. Um, so this is actually, so this would be four, I just call it a four-way carabiner. Um, so obviously that's your three-way. So this has got four movements to unlock it so it might be a four-way but a three lock-in system but on this one it's just got one extra step so you basically have to instead of just going up you have to go down and across first and then up so you go down and across then up and across and then back i mainly use this so if i'm kind of going up spiking up a tree and i need to go over a limb and I'm sidelined in, I will put this on the end of my rope, throw it over a limb, and then just clip that back to the rope, and then just like cinch it off. Everyone kind of has a bit of a um, an input on if you should do that or not, I'm using a carabiner as a, as a sort of locking uh, anchor point. I, I do it all the time, and that's why I bought one of these, um, because I do it with the, with the three-way carabiners, and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna do it, I'll buy a four-way just to be extra safe. It, each to their own, everyone has an opinion on, on whether, you, whether you should do that or not, but I've, I've always done it. Um, I know people that have always done it, and I've never actually heard of anything go wrong with people doing it. I think there's just a bit of a, um, uh, a kind of bad rap on, on using a carabiner to, to sort of anchor it. Um, but anyway, that's a bit off, off topic, but that's why I bought that anyway. That's why I bought that, that carabiner. While we're on the subject of the three-way lock-in, um, I have got one or two of these. And so these are the roll clip. Uh, this is, this is Petzl's one. So this I, I use a lot for um, a double rope anchor system. So on a takedown, if I know I don't, I don't have to retrieve it, um, I'll just put a sling on that and use that as a, as a uh, anchor point or light rigging. Um, so if, if there's just one small limb I need to rig off, um, I'll just use this. It is actually really handy for rigging. Um, it's a shame that it's not, it's only rated for 20, 20 kilonewtons. Um, but if you could get a massive one of these, that, that is like that um, 
then that would be really handy. There's two of these, so you get this one, which is the roll clip, and then I think there's the roll clip Z. So on this one, the gate opens like at the bottom here, where the pulley is, whereas you can get another one where you push it up and the gate opens here, so it'd open like that. Obviously on this, you wouldn't want to put it on like a splice die because you know, you'd have to put the splice die down there, then shut it, and then it'd have to be big enough to go over here. Um, so this is more for, for like slings um, and rigging, I guess. Um, whereas the other one you can get where it opens that way. So you've kind of got more options, I guess, with the other one. Um, but they're both, they both come in handy. I mainly just keep that on my harness for, like I say, rigging or anchor points. That is a three wheel locking as well. Uh, so that's the same as those, you, you know, your three action uh, carabiner. These I use, um, these are just tool clips. Um, so this is the camp orbit one. Um, this is the DMM shadow. Uh, and then that is just an old, what is this? HB beaners. So that's your wire gate one. So it's just got a bit of wire in the middle. Um, and then these are just snap gate ones. So that's a straight snap and that's a, like a curved. Um, I, these two I use for uh, speed lines. Um, so they will be just for just for speed lining or just for like a general sling, um, use it for a redirect, stuff like that. I wouldn't climb on these, even though they're rated. I mean, this is again, 24 kilonewtons uh, and that's the same, but obviously that can easily come undone. So just for, for p e ease and peace of mind, I would not climb on those, uh, not as a life support anyway. Like I say, for redirects um, or even like attaching, I don't know, attaching a chicane to your system or a rope wrench, that would be fine. But yeah, just not for life support. I've used that for, for tying on my saw as well. Sometimes if you've, if you've got your saw on the other side uh, of your like saw um, clip thing, if you've got one of these on your saw, you can just clip it to one of your Ds real quick if you need to you know, quickly put your saw away. Um, so they can come in quite handy for that. Um, so that's your tool clips. So rigging, um, you know, you get, you can basically get exactly the same as these for rigging, um, but just steel, which obviously are a lot stronger. I just use one of these, um, what is this? ISC Mongoose. So this is what I was on about with the shape. Um, so I've got a spliced eye on the end of my rigging rope, um, which actually stays in there really, really easy. This is rated to 30 kilonewtons, so it's quite a strong carabiner. Um, it's quite a big sort of hefty one. I use these uh, for um, my saw strops, so like my recoil um, strop on my saw. Um, so this goes on the end that connects the actual strop to my harness. The reason I use like this, so this is a little bit smaller than like a climbing carabiner. These were just some cheap ones I think I got off like Amazon or something. They're still rated to 24 kilonewtons. Um, and I've had this for quite a long time actually, and it's still it's still fine. It's still still holding up. When you're when this is attached to your strop, it it's that small, similar to the really small one. Um, it basically, if you're moving around, it won't go over your tool clip. Um, so say you've got an open tool clip, which I have. I haven't got the gate. I've took the gate off. Um, or even if you have got a gate actually, and you're moving around, and you know your this is attached somewhere. Sometimes when you're trying to cut some in, you pull the lanyard up and that will go over and almost sit in your tool clip, which can, then you've got to try and take it out. Um, but this is that small that it won't, it will just kind of hit it. So that's why I use those. But on the subject of tool clip ones, um, I have got a couple. So I've got this, which is a screw gate. Again, this is what I just use for a saw lanyard. Um, so, I would not climb with this. I use it for my big saw quite a lot because it's quite a hefty carabiner. Same with something like this. This is quite good for, again, for like a tall lanyard because um, it's fairly sort of like slim and long. Um, the lanyard sits down there quite nice. But yeah, definitely don't climb on something like that um, or this. Um, it does say not for PPE on the side. These are just tool clips, you know, some cheap tool clip things. I use this uh, a lot for um, my a sender on my spike um so just to kind of lock it in i'll just put that on there or just little things like um this is the my chalk bag um for my batteries for my um battery saw 
So I'll just shoot, I'll just leave that on there. Um, just just general th things like that. Um, anything that you need to clip on your harness, like the, yeah, they're, they're quite handy. So you can also get these uh, really small accessory beaners. Again, they're not for climbing, um, but they are rated to something. I'm not actually sure this is a Brock Exotica one. Um, so that's kind of like the pear shape I was on about. Uh, this is the DM, DMM, um, and that's like your typical sort of oval shape. Um, these are actually really handy, to be fair. Um, I've used it for my silky, you know, clipping my silky on, my uh, battery bag for my saw. Um, I use this one a lot for throw lines. My notch throw line bags have got a little, uh, almost like a bit of webbing on the bottom and you just clip that onto that and then that will clip straight onto your uh, rope um, if you've got a splice. You can tie a knot and then tie that onto, but it defeats the object really because then you've got a big bulky knot going up in the tree. Um, but I sort of clip it onto the bag like that and then turn it upside down and as it goes up, it almost creates that kind of funnel effect around limbs. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't get in the way. I use this one. Um, for my chest ascender to pull my system up. This is actually rated to four kilonewtons. I know um, Dan, uh, Climbing Arborist, he does a good video uh, taking down a sketchy tree and he actually uses one of these for his secondary system. Just in case the, the tree was to fail, this would break. You know, as a secondary system in a, in a tight spot like that, you could actually use one of those as a climbing on your climbing line um but just don't do it if you don't need to kind of thing but they're so strong it's it's um yeah it's unreal so for throw line and if you if you know you're gonna have to like put some weight on the on the throw line these come in really handy the rock exata exata ones uh it's not actually rated but oh no it might be actually it might just be worn no oh yeah five kilonewtons there you go so that's even stronger than that one exactly the same just different shapes um but yeah i've got a couple of these and they're actually really really handy okay last lot um are just your general um i think they're called shackles and um, they're just these kind of things um so these you can use um for like canopy anchors um you can even use them for like base ties uh rigging i guess you could use them for rigging but it just means you've got to undo this every single time um but these this is steel um so this is quite strong um, and then I've got some of these smaller ones. So again, you can use these for throw lining. Um, so if you want to put one of those on the bottom of your throw bag, um, and then just attach that to your splice thigh um, for your silky, pretty pretty similar to what you'd use this for really. You can use it on your chest ascender. A silky that you're going to keep on your harness. Um, I've used these before to put on the end of my um, like sideline um and not the not the um the side i'm using but the tail um and then connected that to my harness just as a way of keeping it keeping it there they are rated some of these if you buy them from um like uh an arb shop or um like a like a tractor store somewhere like that um they normally are rated um but these are just some cheap ones that aren't but i don't really use them for anything that um they need to be rated for. And then last is my quickie. Um, so this is the notch quickie. Um, this is probably one of the best or most useful bits of kit I've ever bought, to be fair. This is what I use for my canopy anchor or my base tie. Um, I have used it in, to put through my splice as a carabiner if I've, if I've not had a carabiner on me for some reason. This basically just has two pins, one there and one there, and then it comes open and then you just press it again and that allows you to put your rope in. Um, so I just tie an alpine butterfly, I put that over the rope through the loop of the alpine and then just, just close that. Um, and then that's what I use for my uh, canopy or base tie. That's rated for 30 kilonewtons that way uh, and then 13 that way. Um, so it's strong and it's smaller than a carabiner. Um, it's quite light, um, but yeah, a lot of people um, especially on SRT, we use a Pinto and a Beena, um, whereas this is just one less bit of equipment and it's smaller. So um, yeah, that's the notch quickie, really good bit of kit. Um, that's pretty much all the Beaners I've got. Um, there's loads more out there, loads of different shapes. Yeah, like I say, um, as a whole, I tend to stick with the oval shape ones, uh, just because I think they're um, just the most useful, to be fair. Um, unless you know you, you're, you're only gonna use 
a carabiner in a certain way, but because I tend to throw the beaners around um, and sort of use them for all different kinds of uh, like applications, then yeah, I think these are definitely the uh, the best shape. Um, but yeah, if anyone else has got any um, other beaners that they use for other things, then um, feel free to comment and 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 share share what you what you use them for. All right, take it easy.